Hey guys, this is John Thien. I'm back with the new story in regards to uh, the ending and the explanation of the last shrine that Kratos actually saw. Atreus missed that. I think Angaboda knew about this one, but she just wanted Kratos to witness it and nobody else. So uh, towards the end, as you can probably see in the video right now as well, uh, Kratos just sees a recent history of what had transpired. And it seems like this was a different timeline now. Now the shrine actually had two sides, meaning that uh, because of choices that Kratos made, um, it, either one of the things could end up happening, right? So uh, this is the second part of uh, the prophecy or the second direction of the prophecy here. And uh, towards the end, Kratos can clearly see that he was being worshipped by a lot of followers. And this is something that um, Odin once mentioned to Kratos as well, that have you been worshipped by anybody uh, in the past ever like a god? They really uh, worship you. So it seems like that kind of thing is going to happen with Kratos, but he has to do uh, some good deeds in order to get there as well. But it seems like people will be you know, uh, worshipping him or something like that as a god as well, which is going to be like a good thing or a good ending for Kratos as well. So this is what the meaning of this small shrine and the prophecy is. What did you see in there, brother? <laughs> 